Hello and welcome back to the second episode of the uh, How to Make Model Airport series. Um, in this series we'll begin with the actual painting process um, but before we start that um, I'll just give you a few sort of um, tips about several other stuff. Um, if you watch the first episode then you'll know where we sort of left off and realise that that was sort of like an introduction sort of like um, how to start basically um, by you know starting on your rough um, well not well when I say rough it's not rough uh, if you're using MDF then it will probably be smooth um, but as like a, a plan uh, outline just draw that in pencil on the board before you actually do anything else that's um, the idea that you know it actually does help you in the long terms when you've actually finished painting and everything if you want to check that out with it check that video out before watching this video then by all means do it probably will be better rather than watching this and going back um but yeah just to give you a few um actual ideas of what i've been doing since the video um i, I will admit i haven't been doing an awful lot um I've actually ordered my products and as you can see I've got the paint uh, that arrived today um, I've got a brush as well which obviously you'll need to actually paint the board you don't need a massive brush in particular this is just a standard medium brush I guess um, enough to actually just go you, you know up and down you, if you do require so also you need a brush that's actually going to fit in the thing that you're using to paint i'm using this tin so i'm going to put the paint in there um you know you can wash it out afterwards it's not like you're gonna need it it's not i mean it's an old tin it's what i use to store things in it's for my own personal use so it's not like i'm doing it and chocolate's going to be put back in it or anything um you know but i'd recommend finding something quite deep uh deep enough to so obviously the paint doesn't overflow or anything when you're actually pouring it in because on a board like this size uh, five foot by three foot you do need a relative amount of paint i'd recommend probably about um three uh may i wouldn't go in fact no probably two two layers of paint two coats because um on my pre on one airport i did i actually you know like when you get different shades of gray in areas i kept seeing that I think at times I've probably been a bit paranoid about it, um, but you don't go over, don't, I wouldn't go over two layers of paint because the paint actually starts to crack or at least that's what was happening to mine, um, it just, it just becomes a bit messy, um, by all means if you want a cracked effect, uh, effect, um, on the tarmac, you know, you can get cr cracked tarmac over time, it, it erodes away sort of thing if you want that effect it does actually look pretty good um i had a few people comment on that and actually that you know they said it's quite a nice effect but you know for a new airport you sort of want the uh tarmac sort of or the actual ground the you know the actual if you're using like a concrete shade then classic concrete you want it to be sort of nice and smooth um but yeah just a few um ideas that I did um, during the pencil outlines um, just go around here a minute just to show you I apologize about the shadows but I, I did like these uh, lines now you see these at UK airports I'm not sure about uh, overseas airports but I'm not sure if they're big uh, too big or not but they look pretty cool um, it looks pr pretty nice and then I also did like this little uh, checker thing now you might be wondering what's all that about uh, they're basically or well, that will be on final product um, you know like walkways for the pedestrians walking to the aircraft um, across the roads it's it you know it's one of them things like I say I'm trying to make this as realistic as possible so it's small things like that that you've got to think about it's not just about the airport plan itself you got to think about the roadways um and just coming back around the other side of the board i'll talk about the runway um i have to say that i think the runway is probably the hardest thing to do um you know you've really got to sort of measure it out and everything because the initial idea was um i was actually going to have 
this and uh, just get my ruler a minute just to uh, double check yeah the original plan was um, from uh, going on Google Earth and using the ruler tool um, measuring it I, I base it on the ground rather than the map uh, measurements and it, it, it was saying that runways should come to about six inch when you divide it by 400 the reason why I divide it by 400 for those of you who don't know is because we work in the 1 400 scale so you will divide everything by 400 if it's in the 1 to 1 scale so they were saying I thought that was a bit too small but then I actually extended it to about another inch so 7 inch I mean an inch isn't too much but I just thought it felt right and then I began working on the piano keys uh, where the threshold is basically I've actually got six on each side. I'm not sure if they're thick enough or not. Um, I actually think it looks pretty good. I'm not sure if you can see that on the on the camera on the video, um, but they do actually look pretty good. But then again, they're sort of like the similar size as these lines in the middle. I've n I've noticed that these tend to be a lot thicker, so I probably will make them about um, probably about a centimeter each, I think, or something like that. Um, ignore the numbers as well they were just like an outline thing that I did the number 7 it doesn't look as good as the number 2 but that's the runway numbers I'm going to use 2 and 7 uh, runway 2 7 uh, ie 270 degrees um, so uh, yeah in fact I'm, well 2 7 I'm at yeah probably I will use 2 7 uh, for now um, so yeah, basically the runway I have to say is probably the hardest part. I haven't gone through every single marking. I think if you get the basic details or sort of have a go at doing something, then you know where the rest of it's going to go. You can easily work it out using Google Earth, uh, the ruler icon uh, and whatnot. So, you know, like I say, if you, if you do start basic, then I think when, once you've painted the board, you'll realise where things need to go. But one thing that I've done um, and I would recommend doing this is just to make little notes on where which side you started on when you first started drawing it and those measurements that'll help you then realize what what, what needs to go where uh, when you actually come to do the drawing again on the paint uh, when you painted it and what obviously once the paint's dry when you draw it out again you'll sort of it'll give you a little bit of an idea uh basic measurements and you know that sort of thing do help once again in the long run once you've uh, actually get into it you'll you'll know where to put a lot of, of the details and stuff you know like where the runway will end up and where the taxiways will go etc uh, so in the next um I'll, i'm doing this in two parts so in a minute you'll see the entire board sort of um, painted I would recommend painting it all in one because you don't want to be sort of painting it and then leaving it leaving a bit to dry and then coming back and painting it uh, paint it all in one go because then you can't really go wrong with the shade of grey or anything like that um, but make sure you do put uh, enough paint in so that it lasts for the entire board but don't put too much in so that it's sort of um, you've got like loads left you know what I mean you don't really want to be wasting um, your money's worth really so in a minute you'll see it um, uh, totally covered in grey paint once I've mixed it and obviously brushed it on with the brush so uh, stay tuned and it'll come on in a minute All right then, so you would have just seen the board um, in its state that I was in in the last video, um, in the first episode. Uh, as you can see now, um, or you should be able to see, I've painted it. Um, just a few tips during the painting process. Before you do paint, make sure you brush the board. This is something I didn't do, and I ended up picking up fine little bits um, of like rubber and stuff where I've rubbed it out from the plans and stuff like that it's always good just to give it a quick brush over just to get little bits off you know but even if you do forget to do that um, just put if you do see little bits just put your finger 
where the bits are and brush back over it. It's not going to affect anything majorly. Um, another tip is to paint the areas that you need to paint. So if you've got areas with grass or where the grass will be, then don't bother painting them bits until last if, if you need to. I mean, you know, I, I have paint. I put quite enough in. And I'm quite happy with the shade of grey um, that's come out. And uh, I, I did have a bit left, so I painted over the grassed areas as well. Um, you know, I, I would recommend doing that just in case you don't have enough paint for the actual areas that do need painting. Um, obviously, you know, grassed areas, it's going to be covered up eventually, so, uh, you know, that's the idea. Um, so the board itself, um, you know, when you do paint, make sure it's sort of like a, a moderate colour. Don't do it too dark, don't do it too light. Just do it enough. Uh, because obviously when it dries, when paint dries, it can actually become some either sometimes lighter or sometimes darker than what you've actually put on or what you think it looks like. Um, but hopefully this shade will be enough. Um, if you do see, well, a problem that I was having uh, painting this is that I, was, I kept seeing streaks. Um, don't worry about that, just keep painting over it and the streaks will soon go. There's still the odd streak over this section here. Um, but when it dries out, it will it will come out pretty cut pretty good because even if you have like a tint of black somewhere or something, just think that you know on re in real world airports, you are gonna have little spillages here and there, you know, like of oil and stuff like that. So bear that in mind. It's, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you know, I'm not going for perfect. Um, but basically. There's another thing that I had a problem with is that the my pencil lines were shown as well. Um, if that does happen, you know, don't worry about it. You're going to have sort of like, you're going to see sort of like lines and cracks and stuff in real world airports. So if you're going to go over it anyway, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter uh, as such. Um, like I said, um, just do one or two coats. Keep, basically do your whole coat first then where you need to just do the other uh, the other coat so that it's sort of like um, enough so that you've got rid of like the main parts that you need to get rid of if you can like I say if you can see the pencil marks from the previous just try and get rid of them as best as you can but don't put too much on and also do not paint like say if like where you put paint on before and it sort of started to dry don't constantly paint over that because it basically you just you'll be lifting up the other paint you'll be painting over it but you'll be lifting up the paint that's already trying to dry and then it'll thin it out and um, you don't really want, you know what i mean just try and make it as thick as possible but not so that you've got splodges and stuff uh, that's another thing as well before you actually finish just make sure there's no spillages or splodges that you've left otherwise it will come out in like a lump um, and you don't really want that on your model airport um, so if you do have any questions regarding the painting process um, now I do I do apologize uh, some of you may be expecting to see me actually paint the board um, however like I say this camera that I'm using does have a 20 minute um, limit so obviously I don't want to be painting and then it sort of cuts off and then I don't realize and you know sort of all that um but i mean i'm pretty sure most of you know how to paint um one tip is to, to keep your brush on the board don't sort of ever it, obviously if you're doing a new sort of like line of paint or something like that you just need to touch it up then obviously you need to lift your brush off um but just try and keep your brush going um obviously if you need a bit more paint on your brush then get a bit more paint but just you know glide it across the board don't do don't be vigorous with the brush just sort of let it glide over and you sh the final product will be good i mean you know as i'm looking at this now it's obviously it's still wet and i can see streaks here and there or parts where it's not looking so good um it's actually drying out a bit thin here and there but don't worry about it you know if that does happen 
um, once it's dry you might you might want to go over it again just to give it a bit of an extra layer whether it's the same shade of grey or not it doesn't really matter just make sure you put enough in um, I mean the bottle of white that I've used it's already probably like halfway because that's how much I needed um, but you know like I say it can become dark and it, it can actually deceive you when you're painting it and it's drying out so just just wait till it's dry and see what happens um, the the paint that I actually use uh, just to show you is this type of paint it's uh, Reeves ready mix paint I did actually use another version uh, which is basically like a it just said tempera paint I'm not sure which company it was but it said gouache uh, basically the same as this but but tempera paint and it's um, this is the white one um, it comes in different languages so you've got white and then it says blank uh, blanco and then two others which I don't really know how to pronounce and uh, just gives you all the information it's ready mix so basically like, like I say you can't get grey um, because it's not really like a standard colour as such so you need to mix the white and black uh, together and here is the black as well just to show you that's the black uh, 500 ml bottles so they should last you probably for about two two airports in total maybe maybe just one but the black should last you a lot because you need more white than you do black um because you don't want to overpower the white too much with too much black but uh yeah, the, those paints, uh, each bottle cost about £2 something for me, um, which isn't too bad. Uh, and if you are in the UK or whatever, I ordered mine from Ryman, it's R-Y-M-A-N. So if you want to check their website out, then please, you know, by all means do. Um, my pens, I've ordered them. Um, I've, I'm going to be using Uniposca pens. Uh, which I'll show you. I'll show you what they look like when they arrive, and they should arrive maybe tomorrow when this board's dry, so we can crack on with the pencil outline again. Make sure you got, you know, sort of the main features, uh, the basic features. Then go over it with the pen. Then I'll probably order the grass, and um, show you what which sort of grass I use. Uh, you know, um, what sort of material it is, sort of thing, and then start cutting that out and sticking it down and making it come realistic become lifelike you know uh, making it look realistic um so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video by all means if you've got any questions that you want to ask during this process um or anything else that i've mentioned in the video then please do ask because if, you, if you're not going to ask you know you're not really going to get anywhere and you, you probably won't really know end up knowing the answer so you know i'll be more than happy to help you if you do need help um and once again i, I am i do apologize that i haven't showed you like a time lapse thing of me painting it um you know maybe if i do another one of these in the future um maybe a better one if i learn new things you know then i, I could probably uh show you guys that you know sort of best way to paint and everything but i'm pretty sure you most of you guys will who was watching this video will probably know the basics of painting um so yeah just leave it to dry uh, for a good few hours i mean it's night time here so i'll leave it overnight and it should look quite good in the morning hopefully um it should do but you never know like i say paint can be deceiving when it's drying drying out but once again, thanks for watching. Um, if you've watched this, um, if you watched the first episode and this episode, then I do thank you very much. If you just watched this episode alone, then once again, thank you. If you've just watched the first one, uh, then you won't know that I'm mentioning this because you know. Um, but yeah, the next episode will probably cover the Uniposca pens or something or probably the actual pencil outlines and then move on to the pos uniposca pens um but you like i say i'm going to be doing it step by step so there's not going to be anything that you're going to miss um although if you do have any questions like i say just just please ask and uh, please like comment and subscribe if you haven't already for 
the next video or more, more content on my channel such as when the airport's finished i will be doing airport schedule updates and stuff like that uh, so just stay tuned and the next video will be up whenever the pens arrive basically um maybe tomorrow um like the day after this video is published but it might be a bit too quick that so i might actually just leave a few days out and just to mention as well we ha actually had um an illusion 76 i think that's how you pronounce it sorry if i said it wrong um it is the first illusion 76 to arrive at doncaster i've got a photo of it I'll stick the photo at the end of the video for a few seconds just so you can see what what photo I took and just for proof basically um you know by all means if you want to comment on the photo to say how if you think it's shit or if you think it's good or not then you know by all means do but once again thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode bye